Today we're going to talk about this nifty little gadget. Oh, God damn! Okay. Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Halloween! This is the version 3 of the Remilex signal converter. Basically it allows me to convert uh, signals between SBUS, PWM, PPM or vice versa. And uh, these uh, receivers, SBUS receivers are really cheap these days. And if you don't have a flight controller and you just want to test the SBUS receiver, you can use this converter. And you can just hook it up to one of your servers and test it. For example, I have this set up here on Channel 5. And that's using a S bus. Telemetry one, lost. Telemetry oh, recovered. One wire to connect to it. So if you are flying an airplane and you don't have a flight controller or or you don't need a flight controller, this is one option. Just get a cheap uh, bus receiver and then connect it to this board. So a close up look of it, it's uh, very simple, everything's labelled. Um, the SV stands for SBUS and a PP1 and 2 are the PPMs. And you have the W for the PWM channels and you have up to 20, supposed up to 20 channels. Uh, and. Um, so you just have to hook it up and um, the ground is always facing out so that's all you have to know that ground wires are facing out so how to get started if you look at this board you can see that there is a setup button here and you need to power the signal converter while holding the setup button and that will allow you to toggle between the three modes. If you take a good look, its three modes are PWM, PPM, and SBUS. Uh, it basically toggles through when each time you press it. Um, to power this, you're going to need five volts. So one easy way is to use a ESC with five volts uh, JR, and you just plug it into any of the uh, PWM uh, pins. And I'm just going to use the first one, which is W1. So make sure the signal is on the inside and the ground is on the outer pin. So one easy way is to plug in your XT60 power supply first. And then we're going to hold down this button. and. At the same time, we're going to plug in the power onto W1. Just be careful. There you go. So, now we have that, we can toggle between the three modes by pressing the button. And once you pick what you want, say S bus for S bus receiver, you just disconnect and you remember the last mode that you have selected. Next, you're going to hook up your SBUS receiver, so what you do is look for SB. SB is right at the end, right here. See that? SB. There you go. So, same thing. You're just going to have to plug in your SBUS JR plug right onto the very last one. The ground is on the outer pin, SB. And then we will power it up. We expect a solid rate, that means it's receiving the signal correctly through S bus. So, a solid rate, a flashing rate means it's not receiving a signal. So, it's receiving its rate, meaning it's not buying yet. So, let me power on my Free Sky X Lite. Welcome to OpenTX. So 
So according to the user manual, the analytical capabilities allows you to analyze up to 20 channels in PWM, 2 channels in PPM, and 1 SBUS with 16 proportional channels. You can actually also interface with a UR port. So this is how it looks like. So it allows you to test some of your robotics equipment or even minimum OSD. So and it's um, right here at the bottom left, you see? Extreme left here is UART. And I will include this user menu at dronemission.com under the learning section. So you can download it at dronemission.com. Hey, it's me here. Subscribe to DroneMission.com. You want to take oh, you want to take over on the controller? Can you land this? Um, you hit this one. Tap that. Remember your trainer. Everything.